Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a clip of me completing Cayo Perico during a thunderstorm. Not only that, but I'm also going to be showing you guys the steps I followed to complete Cayo Perico. And just to let you all know, this Cayo Perico was done before the Criminal Enterprise DLC was released, which means that the Cayo Perico I'm doing right now doesn't have the nerf that it has now. So with that being said, let's get right into it. To begin with, I go for my secondary target. Like I'm doing right now, I go all the way around and go directly to the hangar. So after getting out the long fin, I go all the way here. Go through here and obviously I'm trying to do this completely stealth. So I go here behind the guard and kill him. And based on what I get for my secondary target, I go all the way inside the hangar to get it. So for this one, I think I only got one coke, which means that um, when I was doing this Caprico, the other secondary target, I think it's a painting or maybe the coke is on the other side of the airfield, which I don't think so. So right now I'm getting my coke, as you are seeing right now. And I get like a total of $224,000. So as I can tell by right now, the other secondary target is all the way towards the compound, which I'm going to go get right now. So after that, I go directly to, towards my long fin. And what I'm going to be doing right now is going to drive all the way around towards the compound to get in and get my other secondary target and the primary target that I was able to scope out. So after going around I'm gonna go behind the compound of El Rubio and because I'm doing this stealth I'm gonna go through the drainage tunnel. You don't know alert anyone going through here and then I'm gonna be doing this as you're seeing which is gonna be cutting open the gate to be able to get inside the drainage tunnel to, you know, get in the compound. So after being able to cut open the gate, I go in and swim through the drainage tunnel and infiltrate into the compound through this door. Or whatever you can want to call it. Okay, so the first thing I do when I spawn is go up these stairs and like go ease. There's a guard here waiting, so I shoot him in the head. And then I go through this corner and wait for the guard that always spawns there, which you're going to see right now. He's going to jump over that edge. And I'm going to wait for him to walk and stop right about there. And I'm going to shoot him in the head. And just keep going straight. I'm going to take this little right left I'm gonna go all the way straight up the stairs obviously those two guards that are on my left are not gonna see me and even the camera is not gonna see me because I'm literally against the wall and I'm not on their sight so yeah so right now I'm just gonna keep running I'm waiting for the next guard to come all the way over here when I see he's close and the other guards are not seeing him I kill him Okay, I keep running through this part. I kill this guard that's here that's about a you know stand. He drops a key which I can use, but I'm not gonna use it for this heist for this one. Kill this guard here, go up here. Okay, this is the route I always take. Okay, I'm waiting for another guard to stand to come around the corner, but this time I think I was quicker and I was able to kill him before he went down. So as I told you guys, the secondary target for me, it is the painting. So I'm going to get this painting. It's going to be my secondary target and the second one. So I'm cutting it. And that's going to be a total of $415,000 plus the money that's on the wall safe. That's going to be... I'm waiting for this so plus so the money of the wall safe is going to be $467,000 as you can see I got two paintings on this heist 
and as seen right now I'm gonna be doing the hack Okay, so after that uh, montage of me completing the fingerprint hack, if you want to see a tutorial how to do it, please let me know down in the comments. But after we finish doing that, we go through here as you saw. And as you can see, for this Caprico, we got the bear bonds. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through here. I see the code on the left that Pavel sent me. And I'm gonna enter the code that he gave me. So I'm just gonna be putting it in the code and let's see if I do remember it and it's open and I okay I get the bonds and now have a total of 1.5 million dollars so after that it's time to escape the compound okay so now you go down these stairs or I do and as you can see in the mini map there's a guard below me and if I jump down without waiting for him to move, I'm gonna be caught by going into his cone of vision. So I wait for him to move, and as he moves, I jump out from here. I'm not gonna get killed. Okay, so if you jump from there, it's not gonna kill you. I go up these stairs. I see there's a guard there. And I just shoot at him in the head and kill him. And then I just run to this yellow, yellow thing. And as you see, I clicked whatever, and it's time to escape. And because our character's dumb, he's trying to open the door, he cannot do it. Then he sees the button, and he's gonna press it right now because he's dumb and he couldn't even press that since the beginning. Yeah, okay, so we escape. After going outside, you see a guard that's next to you right now. You're gonna go directly towards him, kill him, and steal his bike get in and you drive it now that I have fully the primary and secondary targets I just drive through here I go past this guard he's not gonna see me if I don't go into his cone of vision I keep driving through here okay I'm gonna escape through the water I'm just gonna keep driving and then okay for some reason I'm waiting to see the wrong so I don't you know die or whatever now it's time to swim so I can escape keep swimming straight okay we're gonna keep swimming don't touch those I don't know what could happen so yeah okay so after swimming for a while if you keep swimming the escape from Kayapirikus can escape so the timer disappears also so uh, it doesn't matter how much you take right now, it's not going to affect your elite challenge or whatever because the escape from Caperico disappeared already. And now we're getting a little, you know, of us just giving the money or whatever to this guy, like always. Okay, so after this, we're going to see we passed the heist. Okay, as you see right now. That's the potential to take. And this is the actual take. 1.3 million dollars. 100% cut of take, obviously. I completed the lead challenge uh, for 12 minutes and 8 seconds. I completed it under 15 minutes. Zero hacks failed. Full loot bags. Okay. And I ended up with 1.4 million dollars as the lead challenge is completed. So yeah, that was Kaya Perico during a thunderstorm plus all the steps that I follow when I do Kaya Perico. So yeah, with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more gaming content like this one. And yeah guys, see you next time.